and welcome to Paddling and Peddling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today we're out on the bike and we haven't done a YouTube video uh, paddling or peddling in a little while. So I figured I would uh, put one together today because I am unveiling my finished product on the high voltage spark. Now, basically what I did is I went and put some uh, Prince Sun uh, brown sidewall tires on, some uh, brown and black grips, and a brown seat. And uh, I'm just kind of testing the seat out today to see how it's going to do. Um, I had a Cloud 9 on it, so I found one, and it's, uh, I can't remember the name, I'll put it down in the description. But it's actually pretty good. It's a little bit more red-brown than, than I was looking for. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a short video on this today. Let you guys look at this finished product, and of course, I'm gonna go up and get my cup of coffee and talk with my girls up there. So, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Some adjustments on the grip. This one was down a little bit too far, so I just loosened up the Allen head screw and I brought it up and did the same thing on this side, but it wasn't that much. It was uh, it was just a little bit out of out of adjustment, but now they're all in there in play. I've got to bring this brake lever down just a hair and bring the throttle up, and I'm going to do that right now. Well, guys, after uh, consulting with a lot of my friends and stuff like that, uh, they all told me the same thing, that that new seat is way too red. So I'm ordering a Cloud9 brown seat, as you can see here. Continue this video once I get that thing mounted. <laughs> I'm out here today, guys, doing uh, the Lake Apopka Loop Trail. And what I wanted to do, if you can see the these roads, uh, well, it's not a road, actually. It's, it's just like packed gravel. And I wanted to see how the pre-sun uh, tires would work with this because these are not knobbies. They're street tires. Uh, first thing I learned right out of the chute was <laughs> I got in some loose gravel and hit the throttle and peeled out. Uh, it spun in there, so that was kind of cool, but I've actually had no issues at all on this. Now, again, I'm only at the beginning of this ride, so we got a long ways to go. Uh, I got to stop up here, put my chest plate on to put my camera uh, mount into. Gonna do that here in a bit. So, hey, we'll be back in a while. Now I got my chest plate on guys, as you can see right here. This is called a cotton carrier, and it's really great for when you're out riding your bike, uh, hiking uh, into long areas. You can just strap your camera right here. You take it like this, pull it, and out it comes, put it back in that way, turn it, and it's locked, so it's not gonna fall out. It's really cool. Well, hey everybody, we're taking a break out here. Uh, we're about, only about five miles into the uh, Lake Apopka Loop. And this for bicycles and hikers and stuff like that. Apparently it's 11 miles long or something like that. I may be wrong. Uh, but anyway, I'm out here and normally this place is packed with people on a Friday. I've just now saw the first two cars on the road. Anyway, 
Uh, we're enjoying this, uh, testing out the tires. Uh, so far, so good. I'm a little bit worried about some of the popping I hear, but I know that's the rocks and stuff like that. But that's just on me. So anyway, hey guys, uh, we're gonna continue our ride and we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up this edition of Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. Um, we had a great time out here at Lake Apopka Loop Trail. Never did this before, but I wanted to test out these pre-sun uh, street tires in a gravel condition, and it really worked out really well. And also, I got that other brown saddle in, and uh, it really balanced out correctly. It doesn't have so much red in it, and makes the bike really look cool. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.